and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided, so I was going to do this last year but then decided against it. So I'm going to actually do a mood board this year. A proper one, an actual piece of cardboard. So this project altogether costs about, I'm going to say about £15. I think this piece of cardboard, I actually bought this last year, I've kept this for a whole year and now I'm actually going to use it. This was meant to be my 2022 mood board, it's now going to be my 2023 mood board. So this piece of cardboard I think cost £2 from Hobby Craft and then I printed out all of my photos from Boots. Now altogether mine cost about £11 I think, maybe a bit too much than I was planning on paying but is what it is. Now I know, I actually got my inspiration from Amber Shaw, if you follow her here on YouTube or any other platform, she is absolutely brilliant. She uses, I think, double-sided tape to stick hers down. I don't have double-sided tape, so we're gonna use white tack. I don't know why, I just feel like it. And I'm doing this in my parents' brand new kitchen because there's a lot of sunshine coming in through there and I can't see anything and yeah. So here we go, starting off first. We are going to need our photos. Ready. Oh, spread those out a little bit. So what I understand with a mood board, well, what most people do anyways, because I have seen numerous videos, is you start off with a central quote. And mine for the year is, your future needs you, your past doesn't. I always seem to be looking back on life instead of looking forward. So this year I really want to focus on what my future's about and not what my past was about. So there we go, I'm going to stick that right in the middle and it has begun. So I used to be the type of person that would keep certain people around in my life because I truly was too afraid to say no and I didn't want that person in my life. And in recent years I've been more like that and I've been able to I guess declutter my life and be able to actually have people in it who I truly truly want in it so I really want to carry that on so I printed out this quote so this says sometimes you need to give up on people not because you don't care but because they don't I have had quite a few people in my life who truly never cared about me and I kept them around for no good reason so this this I need to carry on doing, most definitely. There we go, I'm gonna stick that right on the corner. Another thing that I truly, truly struggle with is the amount I swear. I don't believe I've ever sworn on a YouTube video. Don't quote me on that. But I know I swear a lot in real life. I will put my hands up to that and I know I need to stop doing it as often. So that is definitely going on the board right in the middle. What I'm going to try and do is focus the more less material things on the outside, more things that kind of mean more to me I guess, things that are really this needs to be done kind of thing <laughs> if you get what I mean. I actually need to download like a like a thesaurus or something like that to use, I don't know, word of the day app, I don't know really what else, just trying to stop swearing. So as some of you know, some of you don't, I am actually a trained hairdresser and I haven't had the opportunities unfortunately due to Covid, so I'm still currently in training, I'm fully qualified but I need that in salon training. So this year I really wanted to put on the mood board some hair inspo pictures of kind of how I want to create or recreate or kind of just grab inspo from. This I definitely want to do on someone this year, 100%. Oh, this is stunning. So for anybody who's not aware of what a mood board is or a vision board, it's basically all about the law of attraction. And the law of attraction is kind of, clues kind of in the name, attraction. You attract what you want into your life. Now, this mood board is not going to magically change my life. I know that. I 100% know that I have to change my life. If I want my life to be like this, I have to be the one to change it. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to start by doing more on this YouTube channel. I really, really want to hit 1,000 subscribers this year. I did not Photoshop this. I took this off Pinterest. All of these photos are off Pinterest, except this one 
and this one. So these two are very similar to wanting and achieving a thousand subscribers. This one is for my main TikTok account. I don't currently have a thousand. I think I have just over 500. So I really, really want to grow that this year. And that's all about makeup and hair because I'm still learning. I'm still trying to get into trying to do my hair, trying to do my own makeup. And that comes with this picture. This picture is a four piece picture. Sorry, I've got the sniffles at the moment. <laughs> I've got a terrible cold. Well, this four piece picture basically, for me, represents wanting to learn more about different techniques, different ways of blending out eyeshadow, perhaps putting in some context. Who knows? Because I've given this my best shot. It is not perfect, but I'm going to keep doing my makeup and I'm going to keep posting it on TikTok because you guys seem to like the get ready's with me on TikToks. If you've not seen them already, I will link my TikTok down below. But for those of you who have seen it, I very much appreciate it. So that 1000 is going right there. Yeah, this is looking good so far. My life kind of dream, I guess you could say, is to have my own vanity one day. There's currently not enough space in my bedroom to actually do so. But when I move out, I'm 100% 100% making space for that. Oh, this looks so pretty. I probably wouldn't get the marble, but you know, that mirror. Oh. This year I want to get a dog. Me and my partner have talked about having a dog for ages. And when I finally get that new house of mine, that's gonna be one of my first purchases. After like all the important things, you know, like a sofa, bed, utensils so I can actually eat plates you know there's a but that's top of the list or at least near the top of the list like I said this year new house it's going on the move board we are almost done so as you can see I still have a space here to fill which I am but I've had to take some off and cut them down just because I couldn't fit everything I wanted on but those are the last three so these three I'm very excited for. So this one is the inside of a car. The plan was to get a new car this year. Didn't quite go to plan, so going on the mood board, it happening next year. I really want to take better care of my skin every day. Like, I do it most days. I definitely do it before and after I put on makeup, but to actually see a result, I know I need to do it every day, so. I'm going to take better care of myself, not just like skin wise, mental health wise, physically wise, because this year I was going to put on the board about gym. I have already started going to the gym, so I think if everything goes to plan, I won't need to put this on the board. But I have left some room in case I want to put other stuff on the board. But this last one I'm going to put on the board. So it's kind of symbolising to me getting matching tattoos, perhaps with your best friend or whatnot. This to me kind of basically means I want a new tattoo. Whether it be matching, whether it not be matching, whether it be something completely out of my comfort zone that I've ever done before, because all of my tattoos mean something to me. To me, because they're on my body, they kind of have to mean something to me, I think. So I definitely want to get another tattoo. Matching, not matching, whatever it is, I want one. So I'm gonna get one. And after about five minutes of rearranging and cutting down more images, we have our 2023 mood board. Now, as Amber Scholl has said multiple times, to hang it where you're gonna see it every day. And there you have it. So like I said at the start of this video, none of that is going to be able to be achieved unless I do something about it. So I'm definitely gonna give it everything I've got to achieve everything I want to achieve. I hope you guys have a happy new year and I hope you had a merry Christmas to all of you that celebrate it. Let's see what 2023 brings us shall we? Mwah. Bye guys. I probably could have saved myself a lot of time by just getting the right size photos but you know I'm a bit dead.